Sports cars are known for their speed, style, and performance. They are designed to thrill and excite the drivers and the spectators. But what makes a sports car a sports car? One of the most important factors is the engine. The engine is the heart of the car, and it determines how fast, how powerful, and how fun the car is to drive. But not all engines are created equal. Some engines are better than others, and some engines are so good that they deserve to be in sports cars. However, not all of these engines get the chance to be in sports cars. Sometimes, they are put in other types of cars, or they are never made at all. These are the engines that should have been in sports cars, but weren't. In this article, we will look at some of the best engines that should have been in sports cars, but weren't. We will explore why these engines are so great, and what kind of sports cars they could have powered. We will also learn from the people who know and love these engines, and who have shared their opinions and experiences with them. The LSX is a family of engines made by General Motors, or GM. These engines are based on the original LS1 engine, which was first used in the 1997 Chevrolet Corvette. The LSX engines are known for their reliability, durability, and versatility. They can be easily modified and upgraded, and they can fit in almost any car. They are also very powerful, and they can produce up to 800 horsepower or more. These engines are so popular that they are slowly taking over the world. Nothing has been swapped into more cars and trucks than the LSX engines. You can find them in muscle cars, hot rods, race cars, and even boats. However, there is one type of car that the LSX engines should have been in, but weren't, sports cars. GM never put the LSX engines in any of their sports cars, except for the Corvette. This is a shame, because the LSX engines could have made some amazing sports cars. Imagine a Camaro, a Firebird, or a GTO with an LSX engine. These cars would have been fast, furious, and fun to drive. They would have been the ultimate American sports cars. The 26B quad rotor is an engine made by Mazda, a Japanese car company. This engine is a rotary engine, which means that it does not have pistons, cylinders, or valves like most engines. Instead, it has rotors that spin inside a chamber, creating power and torque. The 26B quad rotor is a special kind of rotary engine, because it has four rotors instead of the usual two or three. This makes it more powerful, more responsive, and more smooth than other rotary engines. This engine was first used in the 1991 Mazda 787B, a race car that won the 24 Hours of Le Mans, a famous endurance race. This was the only time that a rotary engine won the race, and it was a historic moment for Mazda and for rotary engines. However, after that, Mazda never used the 26B quad rotor again. They stopped making rotary engines altogether in 2012. This engine should have been used in sports cars, but it wasn't. Mazda had two sports cars that could have used the 26B quad rotor, the MX-5 and the RX-7. The MX-5 is a small, lightweight, and agile roadster that is fun to drive. The RX-7 is a sleek, powerful, and iconic coupe that is a legend among car enthusiasts. Both of these cars used rotary engines, but not the 26B quad rotor. They used smaller and less powerful rotary engines, which were still good, but not as good as the 26B quad rotor. It could have made the MX-5 and the RX-7 insane. It could have given them more speed, more acceleration, and more sound. It could have made them the ultimate Japanese sports cars. The Chevrolet air-cooled flat 6 is an engine made by Chevrolet, a division of GM. This engine is a flat engine, which means that it has six cylinders arranged in two rows, and they are flat or horizontal. This makes the engine lower and more compact than other engines. The engine is also air-cooled, which means that it does not use water or coolant to keep it from overheating. Instead, it uses air that flows over the engine to cool it down. This engine was first used in the 1960 Chevrolet Corvair, a compact car that was different from other American cars at the time. 
The Corvair had a rear-mounted engine, a rear-wheel drive, and a sporty design. It was meant to compete with the European cars that were becoming popular in the US, such as the Volkswagen Beetle and the Porsche 356. The Corvair was a success at first, but it soon faced criticism and controversy for its safety and handling issues. The Corvair was discontinued in 1969. The Chevrolet air-cooled flat six should have been used in a sports car, but it wasn't. Chevrolet actually considered making a sports car based on the Corvair engine and platform, and they even showed some prototypes, but they never followed through. This is a pity, because the Corvair engine and platform had a lot of potential for a sports car. The engine was powerful, smooth, and light, and it sounded great. The platform was low, balanced, and agile, and it could have been improved with better suspension and brakes. The Corvair engine and platform could have made a great American sports car, similar to the Porsche 356. The Volvo B21 is an engine made by Volvo, a Swedish car company. This engine is an inline four, which means that it has four cylinders arranged in a line. The engine is also turbocharged, which means that it uses a turbine to force more air into the engine, making it more powerful and efficient. The engine also has four valves per cylinder, which means that it has more openings for the air and fuel to enter and exit the engine, making it more responsive and smooth. This engine was first used in the 1975 Volvo 240, a family car that was known for its safety, reliability, and durability. The Volvo 240 was a very popular car, and it was sold for almost 20 years. The Volvo B21 was also used in other Volvo models, such as the 740 and the 940. The Volvo B21 was a good engine, but it was not very exciting or sporty. It was meant for practical and comfortable cars, not for fast and fun cars. Volvo B21 should have been used in a sports car, but it wasn't. Volvo did not make many sports cars, and the ones they did make did not use the B21 engine. They used other engines, such as the B18 or the B23, which were similar to the B21, but not as good. The B21 engine could have made a great sports car, especially in its turbo version. The B21 turbo engine could produce up to 200 horsepower, which was a lot for its time. It could have made a fast, furious, and fun sports car, similar to the Saab 900 turbo. The BMW S70 B56 is an engine made by BMW, a German car company. This engine is a V12, which means that it has 12 cylinders arranged in two rows, and they are shaped like a V. This makes the engine very powerful, very smooth, and very refined. The engine also has four valves per cylinder, which means that it has more openings for the air and fuel to enter and exit the engine, making it more responsive and smooth. This engine was first used in the 1993 BMW E31 850 CSI, a luxury coupe that was the top model of the BMW 8 series. The BMW 850 CSI was a very exclusive and expensive car, and it was only produced for about 1,510 units. The BMW S70 B56 was also used in the 1995 McLaren F1, a supercar that was the fastest and most expensive car in the world at the time. The BMW S70 B56 was a very special and rare engine, and it was the lowest production engine that BMW ever made. The BMW S70 B56 should have been used in more sports cars, but it wasn't. BMW only used the S70 B56 in two cars, and they were both very limited and very costly. BMW did not use the S70 B56 in any of their other sports cars, such as the M3 or the Z4. They used other engines, such as the S54 or the N54, which were good, but not as good as the S70 B56. The S70 B56 engine could have made some amazing sports cars, especially in its McLaren F1 version. The S70 B56 engine could produce up to 627 horsepower, 
which was incredible for its time. It could also make a beautiful and unforgettable sound, similar to Adele's voice. The Honda J series is a family of engines made by Honda, a Japanese car company. These engines are V6 engines, which means that they have six cylinders arranged in two rows, and they are shaped like a V. This makes the engine powerful, smooth, and efficient. The engines also have variable valve timing and lift, which means that they can adjust the opening and closing of the valves to match the speed and load of the engine, making it more responsive and economical. This engine was first used in the 1996 Honda Accord, a mid-size car that was popular for its quality, reliability, and comfort. The Honda J-Series was also used in other Honda models, such as the Odyssey, the Pilot, and the Ridgeline. The Honda J-Series was a good engine, but it was not very exciting or sporty. It was meant for practical and family cars, not for fast and fun cars. The Honda J-Series is a family of engines made by Honda, a Japanese car company. These engines are V6 engines, which means that they have six cylinders arranged in two rows, and they are shaped like a V. This makes the engine powerful, smooth, and efficient. The engines also have variable valve timing and lift, which means that they can adjust the opening and closing of the valves to match the speed and load of the engine, making it more responsive and economical. This engine was first used in the 1996 Honda Accord, a mid-size car that was popular for its quality, reliability, and comfort. The Honda J-Series was also used in other Honda models, such as the Odyssey, the Pilot, and the Ridgeline. The Honda J-Series was a good engine, but it was not very exciting or sporty. It was meant for practical and family cars, not for fast and fun cars. The Mazda 1.8 liter V6 is an engine made by Mazda, a Japanese car company. This engine is a V6 engine, which means that it has six cylinders arranged in two rows, and they are shaped like a V. This makes the engine powerful, smooth, and efficient. The engine also has four valves per cylinder, which means that it has more openings for the air and fuel to enter and exit the engine, making it more responsive and smooth. The engine also has variable length intake runners, which means that it can change the length of the tubes that bring air into the engine, making it more adaptable and versatile. This engine was first used in the 1991 Mazda MX-3, a compact hatchback that was sporty and stylish. The Mazda MX-3 was a good car, but it was not very popular or successful. It was overshadowed by other Mazda models, such as the MX-5 and the RX-7. The Mazda 1.8 liter V6 was also used in other Mazda models, such as the 626 and the Z06. The Mazda 1.8 liter V6 was a good engine, but it was not very exciting or sporty. It was meant for small and economical cars, not for fast and fun cars. The Mazda 1.8 liter V6 should have been used in a sports car, but it wasn't. Mazda had two sports cars that could have used the 1.8 liter V6, the MX-5 and the RX-7. The MX-5 is a small, lightweight, and agile roadster that is fun to drive. The RX-7 is a sleek, powerful, and iconic coupe that is a legend among car enthusiasts. Both of these cars used rotary engines, but not the 1.8 liter V6. They used smaller and less powerful rotary engines, which were still good, but not as good as the 1.8 liter V6. This engine could have made the MX-5 and the RX-7 insane. It could have given them more speed, more acceleration, and more sound. It could have made them the ultimate Japanese sports cars. The Quad 4 is an engine made by Oldsmobile, a division of GM. This engine is an inline 4, which means that it has four cylinders arranged in a line. The engine is also dual overhead cam, which means that it has two cams halves that control the opening and closing of the valves, making it more powerful and efficient. The engine also has four valves per cylinder, which means that it has more openings for the air and fuel to enter and exit the engine, making it more responsive and smooth. This engine was first used in the 1987 Oldsmobile Cutlass Calais, a compact car that was sporty and modern. 
The Quad 4 was also used in other GM models, such as the Pontiac Grand AM, the Chevrolet Beretta, and the Buick Skylark. The Quad 4 was a high output, high revving, relatively large displacement engine. It could produce up to 190 horsepower, which was a lot for an inline 4 engine. It could also rev up to 7200 RPM, which was high for an inline 4 engine. It could make a fast, furious, and fun car, similar to the Honda Civic Si. The Quad 4 should have been used in a sports car, but it wasn't. GM never made a sports car based on the Quad 4 engine and platform. They only made compact and mid-size cars, which were good, but not great. They did not use the full potential of the Quad 4 engine, which could have made a great sports car. The Quad 4 engine and platform could have made a great American sports car, similar to the Ford Mustang. The engines that we have discussed in this article are some of the best engines that should have been in sports cars, but weren't. They are engines that are powerful, smooth, efficient, and versatile. They are engines that could have made some amazing sports cars, but they were either put in other types of cars, or they were never made at all. These are the engines that we wish we could see and hear in sports cars. However, these are not the only engines that could have been in sports cars, but weren't. There are many other engines that could fit in this category, such as the Suzuki V8 based on the Hayabusa motorcycle engine. This is a small, light, and high revving engine that could produce 300 horsepower. It could have made a sports car the size of a Mazda Miata with a V8 engine. The Ford Taurus Show V6 made by Yamaha. This is a refined and smooth engine that could produce 220 horsepower. It could have made a sports car based on the Ford Taurus platform with a V6 engine. The Oldsmobile Rocket V8. This is a classic and iconic engine that could produce up to 400 horsepower. It could have made a sports car based on the Oldsmobile Cutlass platform with a V8 engine. These are just some examples of the engines that should have been in sports cars, but weren't. There are many more engines that could be added to this list, and we invite you to share your own opinions and suggestions. What are the engines that you think should have been in sports cars? but weren't. Let us know in the comments below.